I was reminded of a spiritual concept this past week, something that I think is rarely talked about. And I was reminded of it, and I don't think we talk about it much as Christians or followers. But it, it comes down to this theme, rest assured, God knows the way to you. We try so hard to find our way to God. We work so hard, we get frustrated, we try to figure it out, we try to figure out the best way to pray, to meditate, to feel connected with God. And I think even before that comes into play, we have that passage that, that Jesus says to us, you did not choose me, but I chose you. There's this principle about God will find the way to us. God will make the way. And we kind of predetermine the way God should answer our prayers, the way we should connect with God. But can we simply choose to let God come to us? That God doesn't need our help to find the way to us that works the best. I'm captivated, intrigued by that thought. So it's not about striving or working perhaps, which is a radical concept, but about something else, maybe trusting and surrendering. So there's that passage from Matthew chapter 11 in the message version that I love and I'll offer to you as a reminder this morning. It says, are you tired and burned out on religion? The trying, the working, the striving, the hoops, the protocol, the, the steps, to feeling connected to God or whatever we want to call it. Are you tired, burned out on religion? Come to me. Come to me and you'll recover your life. We simply come to God and let God come to us. And it goes on to say, and I will show you how to take a real rest. And there's this passage that says, learn, I will teach you to learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I will not lay anything ill-fitting on you, Jesus says to us. And here it is, keep company with me and you'll learn to live lightly and freely. Keeping company with God. And I'll offer uh, this way to practice that. <laughs> I was reminded at a talent show actually in Monticello here on Friday night. Two young girls sang this hymn, I Need Thee. So in order to practice not striving, working too hard, but trusting, opening, and surrendering, there it is. Maybe we simply remember those old hymns. Open our hearts to God, trusting that God a little willingness on our part and trusting that God will come to us, find the way to us through whatever means as we say, I surrender all, I surrender all, all to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. And then to go even further, I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour, I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior, for I come to thee, but more importantly, God comes to us and is finding always the way to us, to our hearts and our souls, that we might feel and experience God's love within us now. Open, trust, surrender. May it be so as we practice that. Until next time, may you live all the days of your life.